one of the things they talked about here. Let's go start digging through the first of the things they talked about, social connection. Um, and there's this one of her podcast episodes, and I'll post that one in the, I think I may have already posted that one, let me see, um, in the Discord. And for those watching on demand later, I'll post them. Um, let's see, yeah, it's already in here. I'll post them in the show notes for people watching later on YouTube, but mistakenly seeking solitude um, is talking about one of our common misconceptions around what we think will make us happy. And um, that's one of them. And in that podcast episode, she says that um, there's a quote from Sigma Health Study in 2018 that says, feeling isolated is said to be as bad for our health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Um, and that was from Cigna Health. And we talked about it a little bit previously that we like to isolate ourselves when we're hurting. We think that getting away from others will make us feel better. And yes, we do need time alone to rest and introverts really need time alone to recharge. That's how we're wired. We have to have time alone. Um, but in excess, it can be detrimental to our physical and our mental health. Um, so they conducted decades of research and they've referred to decades of research on the topic that spending more quality time with other people can make you happy. And you have richer set, this is, you, it's richer sets of connections, not more connections because the more connections you have, the less rich they are. It's about having deeper connections, richer connections. Um, and that's one of the key things they say helps with your mental health. It helps improve your mental health. And it's one of the reasons that we push for community here. Um, in Ecclesiastes 4.12, it says, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. And 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, so encourage each other and build each other up just as you're already doing. And Proverbs 27.9 says, the heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as perfume and incense. So why do you think that it's so hard to make the effort to build community and seek social connection. Because we've been hurt before. Yeah. People are it's hurt. Also hard to, it's also hard to maintain connections you already have. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure. See, only from what I can see, the only way to make true change is to form new habits and healthier habits. And all of that takes effort and discipline and practice. And even in my opinion and my experiences, we have to make the effort to, to stay that, to keep those connections. Um, I learned, especially during COVID, that I could be waiting for someone to contact me, um, but when I do that, it made me realize, what if everyone else is doing that? <laughs> what if everyone else is waiting for someone to contact them? Um, so then I just had to start forcing myself to make the effort to reach out to people. And it's still hard, and I'm not saying I'm perfect at it either. Because it is an effort. And it is, and sometimes you just don't feel like it. But... It does 
make a difference. It makes a difference in the way I feel about being able to make a connection with somebody. And sometimes when I do that, I'll find out that, hey, they were going through something. And I wouldn't have known if I hadn't reached out, talked to them.